drive and look at it chrome vents on the bonnet mm. gorgeous lines it is a beautiful looking thing look at that interior fantastic, that's fantastic. okay i'll give you that that's a good Vauxhall. It but is. what would you say if i said perodio calisa oh bless you Pagodula? Nope. Pagodula. <laughs> Pagodula. Nope. Pagodula. Pagodula. Oh, oh. Pagodula. Near enough. Pagodula. Pro Pagodula. Pagodula. This is a bacon sandwich, and this is a car. This isn't going to get much more complicated than that because I'm in the Perodua Kalisa, Britain's cheapest new car. It's yours from £5,000. A bacon sarni isn't drizzled with jus or served on a bed of, and the Kalisa doesn't come with any fatuous brand attributes or lifestyle marketing messages. One is a basic meal, this is a basic car. There was a time when Britain's cheapest motor would have been something truly horrible, like a Lada, probably. But this is more promising. It's made in Malaysia in a brand new factory, rather than being slung together by some bunch of resentful communists in a pre-war gulag. This has got everything you'd expect of a car. It's got an engine, small, only three cylinders, seats, instruments, the windows go up and down, a boot. It's built down to a price. I mean, the dashboard's a bit shiny, to be honest, but it's all there. It's got airbags. Britain's cheapest car used to be a polite way of saying pile of rubbish, but not anymore. The Progeria is perfectly okay. I wasn't really expecting any more than that, and I certainly wasn't expecting to be entertained. This whole car is full of feel. It's a simple thing. It's got small tyres. The engine has to be thrashed if you want anything out of it. So you get this sense that there's really not very much between you and all those oily bits that are making the thing go. The real secret, though, is that it's so light. It's 150 kilograms lighter than a Ford car. That's like throwing two passengers out straight away. So it's really lively. I actually like this. It's a bit of a laugh. It's essence of driving. No garnish. I'll probably get a bag of letters for saying this, but this is the nearest thing I've driven to the original Mini. OK, it may not be a Ferrari, but, James, I'm with you on this one. I've driven the little Kalisa, and I think it's great. And, you know, I love the little noises it makes. Because mm. that little three-cylinder engine... Brrr, and I even love the clang when you slam the doors. Yeah. I like that. I know, it's a great car you with weren't new car smell. strictly honest, though, because that's not the five grand one, is it? No, I did come over a bit sort of aspirational at the last minute and I, I got the GX with electric windows and two-tone seat upholstery. It's, what, well, £5,800. Which is still fantastic. Brilliant. I'm I sorry. I'm sorry. It's made in a jungle clearing by someone who went to work on an ox. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you're completely missing the point. I'm siding with him on this one. I think it's a cracking little car. That is a good car. Well, I can't be bothered to argue anymore. It may well be nice to drive, but I'm going to do a little experiment. I've got the keys for it here, OK? And, um... OK, you. All right? How do I say it? Perodua. 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 OK, yeah. what's this? Perodua Kalisa. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Absolutely no response. But it's a perfect, but it's good. However... <laughs> 